All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Merkah Kardash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, pushing his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a sit-down lesson in the news for uh, this Saturday night uh, on November the 13th, 2021. And the news article right here, about to bring it out. And this is uh, from AP News. And this is from yesterday. And the highlight of this uh, news article is that Sudanese rally against army Titans the grip on power which uh, five are dead and Sudanese security forces live ammunition and tear gases on Saturday to this 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 despair uh, protesters denouncing the military's Titan grip on the countries uh, killing at least five people and wounding several the activist says the violence came as thousands of pro-democracy protesters yet again took to the streets across Sudan to rally against the military takeover of last month. The coup has uh, drawing international criticism and massive protests in the streets of the capital of Qatarum, if I pronounce that right, which is in Sudan. It says elsewhere in the country, uh, the killings on Saturday took place in the Qatar um, and its twin city of Adarum, and the dead, including four killed by gunshots and one who died from a tear gas, is a cast stand according to the Sudanese doctor committee. The committee committee. Several other protesters were wounded, including from the gunshots. It says the rally caused by the pro-democracy movement came two days after coup leader General Abid Adabi Fatah Barim uh, reappointing himself head of the Sovereign Council of Sudan's interim uh, government body. Thursday's uh, move angered the pro-democracy alliance and frustrated the United States and other countries that have urged uh, generals to reverse their coup. It says, for me, this is an alliance. This is a, a legitimate uh, council and were an unreiterated to decision that was taken by uh, the Baram alone says protests Weijin Winden Abbas, a 45 year old healthcare worker. It was a decision by one person without counseling or correlating correlation for freedom and change. And it says the Sudanese military seized power on October 25th dissolving the transitional government and arresting dozens of people and pol politicians. The takeover is apprehended a fragile plane transitioning the, the democ democratic rule more than two years after a popular uprise forced the uh, removal of a long time uh, yeah uh, right years after a popular uprising forcing the removal of a long time uh, autocrat Omar Basar and its Islamic government. Saturday's protesters were called by the Sudanese Professionals Associations and the so-called Resistance Committee. Both groups were primary forces behind the uprising against the Al-Bazari in uh, April 2019. So yeah, this was, uh, you know, recently, uh, you know, a Sudanese rally of armies tighten the grip of uh, power, uh, five dead. So, you know, I'm going to bring out a scripture for that. And, you know, these are the times that we are living in. And then you've been, now you've been seeing, you know, uh, protests in London, 
continue to protest is in all these other different countries as well too. You know, and and it and it brings out, you know, that it's, that's that sedition among men, you know, uproars of the people, you know. You know, uh, uproars of the people they're going against they uh political figures, political leader figures of those selective countries, you know. And then as I was reading this uh, article over there in, in Sudan, you know, about that as well too. You know, protesters, you know, they going against the power of the government over there in their countries. You know, pe- people wrote protesting and rally over there, you know, the protesters getting shot and killed and stuff by that, by the military and everything like that. So, you know, that's the uprisings of the people, you know. And, you know, with the uprising, these peoples, you know, uh, you know, they're going against these political figures and, and their governments in these uh, respectable countries, you know. You know, then they definitely going hard on these protests, even if they ain't crazy about it. They even put their life on the line for they do these protests and things, they'll take it to the next level. So, you know, these are the signs of the times that we are living in, you know, of uproars of the people. And you're starting to in- see that and increase um, day by day, week by week, years by years, and month by month, you know. These are heavily increasing of uproars in the people in these last days, you know, that we are living in. And I'm going to bring out that uh, sp- uh, scripture to prove that. Uh, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men, evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, or their actions shall stand in their power right. Just like I mentioned to you, I had broke it down uh, as I was reading that uh, news article over there in Sudan. You know, it's about, you know, one political group in government trying to stay in power. And, you know, and the people uh, that's against it, you know, they, they're not for it. So, you know, they take a stand against it. Just like it says, they should not regard their kings nor their princes. What's those political little figures in those governments in that respectable countries, you know? Even if they get shot, and even if they get heavily wounded or seriously injured or possibly might get killed in these, uh, you know, in these protests, you know? Because, you know, they might oppose certain things that they doesn't like in their respectable countries, you know. You know, and if they kind of fighting for their freedom, you know, in any other category of situation that they're uh, protesting about and for, you know, for, for a right, even if it's for a right cause or whatever, you know. So that lets you know, you know, you're seeing that sedition among men, you know. Uh, against both sides, from the liberal side and conservative side as well, too, or pro-democracy, or people are against democracy as well, too. So, you know, you got on all three different sides, which is the government, and then you got the liberals and the conservatives, and, you know, the people that's fighting for their uh, freedom and their rights and for economic things or certain things that's regarding to economic or a standard of living, or freedom of speech, or freedom, you know, many uh, different things of category of such as like that, you know. And that's the times we're living in, in the second Ezra's 15, 16, 15 to 16, as I broke it down, the scripture right here, you know. And it's going to be that, it's going to be continued, that sedition among men around the world. And, you know, and, you know, it's going to be a, a lot of groups going against, you know, their their political figures. In those respectable countries, like you know, like I mentioned before, and I'm gonna bring out one more scripture to close it out. It was just a little quick sit down lesson of uh, you know, this news article caught my eye and attention again. You know, uh, bring this out right here, and this is the book of Second Address, chapter 9, verse 3, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures, therefore, when there shall be uh, seen earthquakes. You know, you're starting to see earthquakes around the world as well, too. You know, you might see earthquakes like a 6.4, 5.4, 4.1, 4.4, 7.1. You know, you're starting to see more of uh, throughout the years and the months and the days. Uh, you're starting to see more increase of uh, earthquakes around the world, you know. And it's starting to increase in these last days as well, too. And continue on with the uh, Holy Scriptures in the second Ezra 9 and 3. And it reads, 
and upworlds of the people in the world, right? You're starting to see more upworlds in the people of the world. You know, just like for these uh, mandates of these waters, you know, of these uh, people who are against these waters. You know, they don't want to take these waters. You know, they're doing uh, big protests around the world. So, you know, they going against it. You know, there's people that's for it and then there's people against it, you know. So, you know, the people that's pro waters and people that's uh, not in the support of the waters are mandates as well, too. You know, you've been seeing that in, in the Netherlands. Uh, you've been seeing that in uh, uh, France. You know, you've been seeing all these all around the world of uh, protests of upworlds of the people. You know, and expected to see that more in these last days as well, too. As these mandates are starting to increase, you know, and forcing people to take the waters and people that refuse to take it, you know, they kind of feel like, you know, you're kind of harming other people because you're not taking the waters or fully support of the waters. So, you know, it's going to be that continual of increase of uh, upwards of the people. Of people going against their uh, their kings, their princes, you know, they're not going to uh, respect them because, you know, the ones that's in power, you know, they oppose that and they're against it. You know, that's why they're doing the uprising of these uh, protests and you're starting to see that around the world as well, too. And so with that, I hope this was edifying through the spirit of power, grace and mercy of your white Alashai. And I'd like to give all praise and glory too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rafar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. Uh, Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christmas Word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly and sincerely. And I say, till next time, I will say Shalom.